Metal here. Welcome to my YouTube. <laughs> I got you now, my putties. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be taking a first looks at Starship Corporation. It's a sci-fi simulation game in which players must design, assemble, and test spaceships in a build to build a supreme galactic mega corporation. Gain your reputation by engineering and selling your own spacecraft, testing them to the limit in RTS missions and simulated emergency and combat situations. Holy fucking shit, this sounds great. But, wait, there's more. Recent reviews are very negative for this game. Out of all reviews, it's kind of mixed for this game. And if you guys have been watching any of my series first looks, you know what I do on first looks. This is literally my first looks at the game. This is going to be the first time I'm playing it. First time you're going to get my first impressions. We'll do, you know, about 15 minutes, give or take. I've gone way longer. I've gone a little shorter. Just depends on how things are going. So, we're going to take a look at this today. And this is the opening screen. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Oh, by the way, I wanted to say it was developed by Coronado Games and published by Iceberg Interactive. This is version number 2.6.8. It's not in early access, but a Apparently, they've been working on this for a while. It's been in testing with some people for a while. Uh, currently, until... Holy shit. Probably by the time you see this... Is that 46 hours? It may be 46 hours. It's on sale for 15% off at $16.99 USD. Normal price is $19.99. It does have achievements and trading cards. Single player only. So multiplayer might be a nice add-on if they get to that point. So, like I said, I haven't tested it. I haven't looked at it. I haven't done anything. I haven't even looked at the options, which normally I do. I set up the options, set up the sound, and that shit. But, didn't do it this time. I just wanted to get this done because it was just like, I can't believe how negative the reviews are on Steam. Steam game only, as of now. Um, sometimes I do the tutorial. Sometimes I do just go straight into campaign. My gut feeling is, and I apologize to those that follow the first looks, but my feeling is I'm going to have to do the tutorial on this to kind of get an idea of how to build a fucking spaceships. So, we might call this first looks tutorial. I don't know. Fuck. Starship Corporation, though, sounded fucking amazing. It actually just came out. Um, this was uh, released on May 3rd, just a couple days ago. What is today? Today's the 8th, so about five days ago. Ish. Ish. Okay. Anyways, let's give the toot a try. That kind of looks like an original Xbox fucking woo thing. Anyway, it's not on Xbox. It looks like an Xbox thing, but it's not on Xbox. So, tutorials it is. Oh, fuck. I wonder if it's just not going to really do anything on the tutorials. Let's see what the tutorials are like. If it's just stuff to read, not going to do it. Oh, still having my coffee this morning. Cold coffee. It's 100 fucking degrees here in Arizona. Cold coffee. The Galaxy map lets you choose from all the known systems and establish shipyards where there is an established trade route. Each shipyard grants you access to the market of a different star system, providing new job opportunities, but also costing taxes. Huh. The market shows all available contract jobs for a star system. You can browse through the list and decide which jobs you want to research or design for next, or which ship you want to build for yourself. The technology interface helps you make important decisions about which branch you want to invest in next so that you have all the facilities you need to fulfill the contracts you want. In the ship design interface, you can design the blueprint for a ship. The interface helps you keep track of the objectives the customer requires. The completed blueprint can be saved, 
loaded, and changed any time later on. If the blueprint is fully functional, you can create a ship class to use it for crew management. Ship class layouts cannot be changed anymore. They're used for simulation only. The ship class can run through a series of simulated missions in crew management. Every mission produces a rating that is saved with the ship class file. SOP rating represents the standard procedure of the ship class. ERS rating tests emergency situations. And the HEP rating is for combat missions. These ratings are key to proving that your ship is fully capable of handling the dangers of space travel and good enough for the customer's requirements. You can revisit crew management at any time to try to improve the rating. Back in the market with a successfully tested ship class in your database, you can fulfill a shipbuilding contract or send one of your ships out into space to perform tasks like transportation, mining, route maintenance, or security. The better your rating is, the higher the chances that your ship will recoup its construction costs. Okay, so I like the voiceover. I like it reading me things, but I'm a learn by doing type of guy. So, be that as it's may, since that was just overview, we'll look at Sandbox if that's just going to be reading me stuff. Oh, that's actually starting a game. So Sandbox is probably going to take me through a, a actually hands-on tutorial. That's what I'm going to guess. I'm going to go with it. See, Welcome I don't like Sandbox it, creation. first looks. Here you can choose a few settings that will determine the universe your game will be in. If the tutorial window is in the way, you can minimize or maximize it any time by clicking on Tutorial at the right edge of the window. You can access the help file by pressing F1 at any time. Please click on Next to continue. To influence the difficulty starting out, you can choose either low starting funds for a greater challenge or a high value to have a little help at the beginning. <coughs> for this tutorial, please select a sum of 500,000 millibitcoin. Please Actually, click on My Company and choose a name for your yeah, company. I Please click on My Company and choose a name for your company. Yeah, I didn't do that part. Then, I, I just accidentally skipped over it. And his or her gender. Okay, so we're going to go. Click on Next Step to proceed with the same settings menu. Of metal. Metal ships, of course. First name. Fuck. We're going to go with. We're going to go with. Uh, Miss, no, no, no. Okay, we're gonna go with Misty. I'm gonna know it's not me. Misty. Ducktail. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. We're gonna make her a female. Never play as a female, but okay. to influence the difficulty starting out, you can choose either low starting funds for a greater challenge, or a high value to have a little help at the beginning. For this tutorial, please select a sum of 500,000 millibitcoin. Click on Previous Step to go back, and click on Next Step to progress through the Sandbox Settings menu. I gotta say, I really do like the, you know, it constantly telling you everything to do. Really do like that. To set your difficulty level for, for later stages of the game, set you can select a either a higher limit, allowing you more room for mistakes, or a very low limit for a greater challenge. As soon as the credit limit is reached, the game will be over. Please select the sum 60,000 mil Bitcoin for your first game and continue. You can set the quality level at which the missions in crew management are auto-resolved. This will influence how much of the testing you'll need to do yourself. Please set auto-resolve difficulty to easy. You can set the winning condition for this sandbox game based on your personal preferences. Cool. As soon as you reach this goal, the game is won, but you can continue playing if you want. Please select Technology Fully Unlocked. Welcome to the Galaxy Map Tutorial. Please use the Next button to start. The game starts by entering the first quarter of the year 3020. The quarterly report shows you the financial progress of the recent quarter. Please close the report now. You can zoom in or out of the galaxy map by using the mouse wheel. You can move the view by using W, A, S, D, okay, if not no dragging it, or clicking on the arrows at the edges yeah, of the screen. Yeah, no, there's no dragging it, 
but you could use these or WASD. Okay. You can see all the known systems in the galaxy, and you can select them by clicking with the left mouse button to get more information. The yellow color on Mars signifies that your corporation already owns a shipyard at this location. Please select Mars now. In the lower left corner, you can see the icon for your shipyard. It also displays the current tax rate of the system. As this can change over time and vary a lot between available systems, you always have the option to disband your shipyard by clicking on Disband and confirming the order. If a system offers new contracts, an icon is displayed next to its name. Open contracts are shown in blue. Assigned contracts are shown in yellow. Usually contracts are only available for a few quarters until they disappear. Please select the contract named Pilot Vessel. This reveals more information about the customer's requirements, as well as the list of all your available ship classes. If ships are displayed in red, they are not fulfilling the requirements, or you do not have enough money. If they are shown in green, it's a match. Please select the pilot vessel, then build ship, confirming your order. Please confirm the construction of the class pilot vessel, construction 111,562 millibits P M B T C whatever she said that was called. Contract is being processed. The shipyard now displays that a ship is being built. Oh, okay. The icon signifies that it will take one quarter until completion. Some of the bigger ships can take up to four quarters. Please click on End Quarter at the top of the screen to end the current turn. Okay. Saving, and it's kind of... Not let me do anything. There we go. So, we're on the save. Fuselage called the little bug. The love run. Say I could move it. I know it said I could minimize it. That's probably minimizing it. Yep. So contract fulfillment, expense. So I didn't make a whole lot. I made seventeen thousand seven hundred sixty-four MBTC. Middle bit time, whatever. Okay. Close that. Let's pull this back open. As soon as the ship is completed, you will get notified. Clicking on delivery will enable the customer to take over the ship and you'll receive the payment. Just like before, the quarterly report displays your income and expenses. This turn, you made some significant profit. Please close the report as soon as you are ready. This quarter, we will build our own ship. Select Mars again, then build your own ship and probe. Click on the build ship button in the lower right corner to start the process, then end quarter. Okay. Pretty easy, pretty easy sleazy. It's kind of bringing me in nice and slow, gently. I like it. If you're into management games, holy fuck, this is so cool. I used to play back in the day, back in the day. I used to play these games where we didn't build ships, but you had ships and you tried to like buy and sell. It was all tax space. So this is kind of cool to me. I remember she said what these are, and I also don't remember what they are. SOP rating, ERS rating, anyways. Let's go ahead and launch our ship. Oh, we can change the ship name. Metal up one. Metal up one. There we go. <laughs> Description. My first ship. There we go. Let's launch it. Processing quarter. Yeah, that's total just cost me money. 
Let's see what she has to say. This time, you can enter the ship's name and description before you launch it into space. The new vessel is displayed in the ship list in the upper left corner, as well oh. as an icon in the vicinity of the solar system. Oh, there if we go. If you lose the ship to an accident, please repeat the steps above to build a new one. Oh, oh, okay. Let's minus this. Let's close this. Let's look at our ship. It's right here, right in Mars still. Add a blueprint, scrap ship. So I have other ships too. Mary Jalast and Andrea Gale. Okay, come on back, girl. Let's see what else. With the ship selected from the list or the map, you'll be able to see more information about it, yep, as well as that. use the option to scrap it to get back some of its original value. To send the ship, Simply right-click anywhere in the map to set a waypoint. Hold oh. the right mouse button to set a research waypoint onto the Delos settlements so that the ship can use its sensors to detect any dangers along the route. Well, there we go. Maybe I need to be more on it. There we go. So you actually fucking send in the ship there. Metal up one. If the ship is performing an action like research, road work, mining, or combat during flight, <coughs> it travels at 60% of its maximum speed. End the current quarter to start the exploration. So, we're at 15 minutes already, and I'm just barely getting, just barely touching the surface of this. But I'll give you my opinion now. I'm going to keep on playing and recording, at least for a little bit more. I want to see how this exploration goes, um, at least on the on the uh, recording, and uh, you, so you guys can check it out. But I'm digging it so far. I'm not, I'm not seeing the negative things. I mean, a lot of the negative stuff that I read was uh, you know was not functioning correctly. But that might have been early access shit. So we'll see. Maybe they've upgraded it and fixed it by now. The savings do seem a little long. Like when you're going to save it, that does seem to be a little bit long, but that could be based on my, um, you know, my personal saving process. I'm using an external hard drive. Quarterly report, we lost 2,395 MBTCs. That's all the further metal up one made it. Your ship will encounter multiple asteroid fields on the way to Delos. They are marked as orange circles, and they're visible when a ship is selected. Mining areas are displayed in yellow, and war zones in red. Okay. Successfully crossing an asteroid field requires a decent rating for the asteroid field mission, which you will learn about in the crew management tutorial. If you end another quarter, you should run into an asteroid field. Please proceed into it. If a system displays a contract icon, it means there are jobs available. You cannot establish a new shipyard at Delos because there is no trade route established yet, but you can build a shipyard on Acton. Okay, so that was kind of, I got ahead of myself in the tutorial, which previously I was always ahead of it. We'll see what happens here. Do you want to proceed or stop? We're gonna proceed through the ship field or the, through the uh, asteroid field. Guess everything's fine. <clears throat> I'm still in the asteroid field. Let's go ahead and end that quarter. It's really just having me do this, but you could be doing other things. I could be building more ships. I could be, uh, you know, doing contracts to make money and stuff. So, kind of interesting. Not a whole lot as far as graphics goes, but what they're doing to display it is is very pleasing to the eye. That's a good word for it. I'm losing money though. Made it through the asteroid field, so it's going to take me several quarters to get to Delios. So it's probably going to have me actually build another one and get to Atkun and stuff. Anyway, you guys got oh, 16 of 22. I'm on 16 or 22 steps here for this. So let's the go ahead and work through the, the 22. The surrounding the systems represent their development level. <coughs> The types of jobs you can get on different settlements depends on its location and culture, but also its current development level. If your ship is equipped with mining lasers, it can clear asteroid fields. 
If your ship has mining lasers and an ore mill on board, you can send it out to make a lot of money mining resources. If your ship is armed, you can send it into war zones to get rid of the hostile forces and make this part of the galaxy safer for everyone. If your ship is equipped with a hangar, it's able to board other ships for capture or rescue. This is pretty cool. You have an old mining vessel at your disposal, the Mary Celeste. Set a research waypoint close to its current location, and you will uncover a mining zone, yellow, in the next turn. Set a mining waypoint in the middle of it to start mining. No, combat? Research. She said research, I believe. I'm gonna try to get through all these steps of this tutorial before I end this video. Give me my final thoughts. Oh shit. I fucking took the metal up back. Damn it. Metal up one. You're supposed to be going here. And Celeste is going. There we go. Road work, mining. There we go. That's why I didn't have mining available. Okay, I fucked up. I fucked up on the tutorial. Are you surprised? The Metal Lord fucked up on the tutorial. It happens all the fucking time whenever I do them. That's why I normally avoid them. <coughs> my two ships are going to run into each other. I had my fucking metal... Metal up one fucking go back and forth and it just wanted to make sure that it, it was good enough for the other one to come. Yeah, it said do research then mining, but I already had that one highlighted because metal up one was still there, so I didn't have to discover it. Yeah. <laughs> I actually skipped a step within their tutorial there. Bet mining I actually make money too, huh? That's my guess. Fuck yeah. I'm digging on this. The Metal Lord digs this game so far. So I don't know. Maybe the crash reports, maybe it was having issues. Maybe it's been updated. I don't know. I didn't look up any of that stuff. So let's see. Hope it's mining it. We'll see what this If you says. set a combat waypoint, the ship will move at only 60% of its maximum speed, but it has a higher chance of being victorious in a violent encounter along the way. The game can be saved and loaded by pressing escape and entering the sandbox or campaign menu. Additionally, the game is automatically saved every time you press end quarter into the file autosave.sav. Please select the contract, Improved Pilot Vessel, from the market on Mars. In the description, you can see that this ship needs to be equipped with a sick bay and a small armory, and both of these are not researched yet. Please change to the Research interface by selecting Department, then Research, in the top menu. So... Please select the contract, Improved Pilot Vessel. Wait, okay. Department, research. Okay, so I need to research a sick bay, a small armory. Sick bay. Core modules, wow. Sick Bay, Apply Technology, okay, anyway, I don't have to do this on, on a fucking recording, um, first looks at uh, fucking, uh, oh man, what's the name, Starship Corporation, <laughs> Starship Corporation, my first looks, uh, my first opinions, now, uh, mind you, it's only freaking, what, 20 minutes? 
20 to 25 minutes. I'm liking it. I know it's just a tutorial, and I know people had trouble with, you know, things, but I'm, they might have been fixed since last, you know, when it first issued last May. But I don't know. I'm liking it. If you like uh, games that you got to do management, holy shit, this is huge. This is actually incredibly huge, incredibly complex building spaceships. You can explore. You can you have a whole spaceship corporation. You can explore. You can mine. You can uh, do contracts to make money. Um, you can fight. You can uh, just incredible. It's already like wow. My brain is going holy shit. So, very impressed with what I've seen so far. Um, definitely peace out, mofos. And you have a great day. Metal Lord out.